Hey Aquarius, how are you guys? I hope all is well. I am Phoenix Rising. If you're hearing my voice, say my big old head. You're watching my channel. Hello, hello, hello. I am here to do a love read for you guys. So this will be for Aquarius singles and couples, and this is how we're doing it now. I'm gonna do one whole video. So um for couples, it's time stamped at the bottom in the description box. So you can fast forward my big mouth to your part because you don't want to hear it, and that's cool with me. So we can divide the video up. So I'm gonna do singles first, and then I'm gonna jump into couples second. Um, I already saged, you know, the incense is burning. We're going to get messages from your ex and from your new love. And if you don't have new love, we're going to see if you got new love. Or if you don't have somebody, we're going to see if you got new love coming in. One of my subscribers told me to slow down because <laughs> I've been talking so fast. I hit it in real life. So I'm trying to slow it down. Oh, slow it down. All right. So I'm going to use, um, this deck first and then I'll get confirmation for my cards with this deck. Okay. All right, Spirit of the Most High, Ancestors, Ethers, and Angels of the Highest White Light. We ask that you come in and give us messages for Aquarius, please. Aquarius. Aquarius could be in your birth chart, um, so you don't have to be an Aquarius. I watch Aquarius because I am uh, a Sagittarius, but my love, Venus, is Aquarius. You're manifesting new love, Aquarius. I've just seen a magician here. And I was going to say something. Oh, you're detaching from something with the devil's here. But someone's addicted to you. You're detaching from something and someone's addicted to you. Turn that down a little bit so you can hear me. Okay. <clears throat> Give me messages for Aquarius, please. Archangels, Michael, Raphael, Uriel, Gabriel, Chamuel, uh -uh, Azrael, Ariel, and Japhael. Messages. You got two cards that flew, Aquarius. We are nothing without you, higher power. We praise your name each and every day. Amen. All right, so let me see what flew out. What then flewed out, got flewed out. <laughs> Playful. There's somebody in your life that wants to play with you. I don't know if you guys are trying to decide if you really want to be single or not, but very clearly it says, very soon, clearly decide what you want. Don't play no games because somebody doesn't want to play no games. They don't want to play no games. You got it, girl. You got it, girl. I'm hearing Drake and Chris Brown. You got it, girl. I can't sing. Yeah, but that's what I'm hearing. Mm, mm. Um, freaky. Okay, I'm hearing all song two, three, four. I don't know if somebody said you're freaky. Retreat. Retreat. We're going to get four cards. Let me see. Empress or the Emperor. You're showing up as very earthly, grounded, nurturing, creative, bossing up with your career, your life, taking charge, stable. Aquarius. Divine timing is in your love life. It's working. The angels are, they here. They here. Romantic feelings. You got romantic feelings with somebody? Pay attention to the red flags. I did see that too. <clears throat> Let's see what that's about. Could be some, oh, past life lover. All right, so let's pull. I got more than, more than enough cards. All right, y'all, let's see. Playful. Very soon, decide what you want. Aquarius and Bill of Sage on here. Aquarius single spirit. Give me messages for Aquarius single. Playful. Ooh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Somebody played with you, Aquarius. Whoever this is, is a queen, a king of pentacles in reverse. They don't got no money with three, four, five. They played themselves with you. I'm hearing Beyonce, don't play yourself. Yeah. Somebody played themselves. Who the fuck do they, they thought you was? Who the fuck they thought you was? <laughs> you ain't fucking with no average bitch, boy. You heard him. I'm just saying, that's what I'm hearing. Oh, they played themselves. The game master. The knight of swords. They want to come in and be honest. The fool is here. They thought you was stupid. Stupidity in reverse. They thought you was stupid. Tried to play you by some money, Aquarius. So they played it. Lack of fun. This person want to commit now. This could be a past lover. Yeah. Nine of Swords, they was cruel. That's why you got played. Don't play yourself. Some of y'all still might want this person. They still might want you too. Aquarius, please. Retreat. Why is retreat here for Aquarius, please? Retreat. Oh, the Will of Fortune. The Seven of Pentacles. You're at a crossroads. Some of you just met a soulmate with 444. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Energy. Virgo. Aquarius. A uh, Virgo. Hmm, Taurus, Capricorn energy. 
The Seven of Pentacles is definitely at a crossroads in love. Okay, reviewing, questioning, evaluating, and planning. There's a soulmate coming in or that's coming. They want to retreat with you. They want to retreat with you. Messages for Aquarius, please. Aquarius for retreat. Messages, please. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't have to make a decision. This is a commitment. Five of five of five. This is the five. The high priestess is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Very committed commitment. Okay. It's 527 on the clock. This is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius energy. The six of wands is here. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. This person sees you as victorious. They see you're loyal. They see you as winning. Um, recognition, strength. Okay. This is praise. Um, the two of wands is here. This is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. This is suddenly making a decision. You might decide to be not be single no more. Or someone might decide that you don't want to be with you because I just seen five, five, five. The divine timing. <clears throat> divine timing is at work in your love life. Aquarius, give me messages, please. For Aquarius, you had a Ten of Pentacles moment. I mean, Ten of Cups moment in reverse. Some type of breakup, separation with someone. A person that plays themselves, Aquarius. This is definitely resonating with me. It's worth waiting for divine timing. Okay. The eight of swords is here. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Someone feels trapped. Okay. Drama. They could try to cause some interference in their love life. Some of them want to start over. Okay. You got a one and an eight. This is nine. This is like wish fulfillment they see you as. The ace of wands is definitely new love coming in. I feel like maybe you were interfering with your mind. Maybe thinking about something from the past for some of you. Divine timing was in the way. They was letting things go a certain way because you got a Ten of Pentacles coming in. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Some type of bliss, happy ending. Something that's going to make you happy. Soulmate energy. The Seven of Pentacles is definitely a, 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 could be a marriage. Okay, because you got romantic feelings and past lover here too. Give me messages, please. With 707 on the clock. Aquarius, please. Aquarius. 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 Aquarius, please. You got... Yeah, some type of injustice. Someone sees you as the high priestess. You're very a mystery to this person. You have like inner knowledge. You're very smart. Whether you're a man or a woman, this is a good mother, good father, nurturing, creative. Um, They feel like they've known you before because you got, oh yeah, look. Mm -hmm. The Ace of Wands is here. You have the star card. This is renewal. Okay, this is a new thing. Healing, faith, spiritual, contentment, hope inspiration positivity they're seeing you as a star there was a judgment here for you in reverse some type of bad gossip gossip or a karmic lesson this is scorpio energy false accusations or something you were unwilling to learn or someone was willing, unwilling to learn an indecision okay any other messages oh, single Ooh, it flew out it flew out oh yeah it flew out someone broke your heart for sure you got a prince or a princess of wands. I said this is someone very immature, very in and out your life. Fire energy could be a man or woman. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. This is a flighty motherfucker that plays the games. Bad news, difficult decision. Um, I also feel like um, hmm, this is spoiled, lack of common sense, um, closed minded. This person was hasty. They offered you a two of cups in reverse. They caused a lot of arguments, infidelity. Um, Trust issues, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. And then you got the Two of Cups. This person might need therapy because you got it in reverse, okay? The Two of Cups is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is like an emotional hiccup. A lot of feelings and, and shit going on about shit going on. Because I said about shit going on. Bad news, cancel plans. Um, the Two of Cups is definitely um, a separation that you went with somebody, a breakup that you had. Your best friend, you thought it was your ride or die, just saying 911. Um, the Queen of Cups is here. Um, this is uh, giving too much. It was very sensitive, and this caused you some type of depression. Whether you're a man or a woman, king, queen could be either one. <clears throat> now you got the Two of Swords. Okay, worry. This person is worried. There's some type of resentment and indecision with this person. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There were some lies exposed about this person too. Oh yeah, that caused this Ten of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Messages, please. More messages for Aquarius. 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 Seven of Swords. This is someone wanting to come clean about some bullshit. A serial cheater, a serial liar. 
Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy. Yeah, because Six of Cups is here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Letting go of the past. Focus on the future. Someone needing some fucking therapy. Resolve. Grow up. Someone needs to grow the fuck up. <laughs> uh, let me see what else we got, Aquarius. Aquarius thing, but I'm going to get messages about um, your past lover, too. Your issues you could have had. Messages, please. Messages, please, Aquarius. Stay optimistic about your love life because I feel like you are manifesting a soulmate. Spirit says, stay optimistic. It's coming, okay? Or it's already here. You're in separation from someone you thought was your true love, okay? But there is a soulmate here that's coming, okay? Because you really deserve love. And marriage is coming with this person. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, okay? Because I'm getting Sagittarius vibes. There's a lot of passion here. This person will be on the same religious pages you so you can trust the process trust spirit um also yeah it could lead to engagement and children for some of you okay you guys will have a lot of heart-to-heart -heart conversations as well so spirit said keep an open mind and let go of control issues just live your life and be free okay Aquarius singles let me see what else we got let's get into the uh what the issue was with your person mm -hmm. let's see let's see let's see Y'all know I'm nosy. Yes. I made this deck. My sister was like, you need to make one for real. I was like, I am. Trust me, I am. I got a lot of messages in my head I can put in the deck. Oh, shit, they falling out already. Whole bunch of them fell out. Okay, here go, yeah. The new person is juicing them for everything they got. They're going to be broke as hell. So this is your ex. Take it as it resonates. Um, Don't invest too much time. You will live to regret it. For your past lover, let it go. Their children don't like the person they picked over you. This makes their relationship hard. Mm -hmm. Take it as it resonates. When they're having sex with their person, um, their new person, they're thinking about you. Ooh, um, They miss the conversations you had with them. Their person can't hold those conversations. And... They have so much, so many uh, mental issues, real mental issues that they had uh, since childhood. They didn't get any help with that has came into their adult issues now. And last but not least, they keep leaving you uh, and going back to the person they have kids with. Okay. Okay. Single Aquarius. This has been your love read. Click like, subscribe, share me and all that good shit. I'm moving on to Aquarius couples. I thank you guys for watching. Okay. <clears throat> Let me timestamp it too, but I showed said I was gonna timestamp it. We're gonna do 13 minutes, couples. Okay, here we go. Hello, Aquarius couples. I am Phoenix Rising. If you are hearing my voice, you're watching my channel. If you are new, you can click like, subscribe, you can share me. If you're not, thanks for coming back to see me. Um <clears throat> I'm here to do ooh, a lovely for you guys. Um, this will be for Aquarius couple singles was first, of course. I time stamped it for you guys. I don't want you to sit there and watch me blah 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 you. Yes. So we're gonna get some messages for you guys, okay? Here we go. <clears throat> I already prayed, so the messages. The first one that flew out, oh just work, just like work. Suitcase burden, baggage, escapism. Aquarius couple, someone might need to leave. Packing up to leave. If someone wants to go, either you or your mate might want to go. Messages, please. Match flame to be continued. Restrictions. Reignite. Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. Wedding dress. Commitment. Loyal. I also have um crystal pendant. Um divine guidance. Spiritual advisory. I feel like some of you could be married to this person, and, you, and some concerns about marriage are going on with commitment. And then you got um some of you are on like spiritual awakening, and some of you could be needing to invest in crystals. So you just got some. Aquarius couples. Messages, please. Give me two more cards, please. Aquarius couples, mop, sloppy mess. Ooh, spill, clean up. Something needs to be cleaned up here. Avocado, smoothing over, butter up, consistency. Someone needs to have some consistency. Okay. Let's see. All right, here we go. Aquarius. Aquarius singles. Suitcase, bird, and baggage. Suitcase, bird, and baggage. Aquarius. Aquarius. Any messages? <clears throat> okay. Ooh. The rock star. 
Mm, someone, someone to move in with you. The sun is positive changes moving forward. So this could be someone actually wanting to be with you or renew themselves with you. Maybe someone's coming in to save the situation with the rock star. The sun is here. Or oh, this is either a brand new relationship or someone wanting to rekindle something. Um, this is uh, Aquarius energy. The sun is you can have a sun with this person. This is pregnancy, positive, freedom, expression, happiness with this rock star. The Knight of Wands is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. This is definitely uh, someone having to wait with words. Uh, rebellious, want to sweep you off your feet type of energy. Uh, fearless, brave, hot tempered, very fun. Okay, because maybe you guys had an argument or something and they played games. Yeah, with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, there was some type of uh, collapse, a breakup. This person might want to come in with unexpected changes, money issues you guys had. Okay, a rocky foundation. And they might have played games with the game master, the knight of pentacles. The knight of swords. I'm sorry. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Maybe they played a lot of fucking games. And due to them playing these games now, they want to be honest about something and have a conversation. Okay? And patient about talking to you. Because you make them feel like, yeah, the nine of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, trying to have strength to come in about some some yeah, some infidelity issues with sixteen, sixteen on the clock, some lies, some deceit, some treachery. Okay, want to move back your way with suitcase burden and baggage. Oh, okay, it could be a fire sign, like I said. Matchbox flame, okay, to be continued. Messages, please. Aquarius couples, matchbox flame, matchbox flame. Spirit, any messages, please? Yeah, somebody you're not talking to. The Eight of Wands is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. They want to come in and have this fresh start. They want to have sex with you, too. I ain't going to even lie. Leo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. They want to come in and get some cookies, some nookies, some, some sexing. Um, but you're not talking to this person because they did some Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is... Oh, hold on. Let me pause here. Okay, y'all. Anyway, so you're not talking to this person because it was a queen of wands. They could have been dealing with a king of wands. Uh, and they could have some actually public defender issues. I need one. The queen of wands is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. The queen of wands is definitely demanding, jealous, unfaithful, um, a liar, spiteful, man or woman, vicious, vengeful. Okay, so this is what the, um, the reconstruction, they want to reignite this. They want to put this back together. Messages, please. <clears throat> now you got a wedding dress. Commitment, loyal, loyalty. Why is that here for Aquarius couples? Aquarius couples, spirit, any messages? Messages. I don't want to stick to you because my car is trying to sit. <clears throat> the Five of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Yeah, they made a bad decision with the Seven of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. And this bad decision basically fucked up this marriage, this commitment. The Five of Swords is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. This is definitely talking. It's conflict. Wanting to move to calmer waters. They're willing to risk it all, Aquarius, to get you back. If you're not married to this person, this person is willing to propose. They're willing to do what they need to do. Crystal uh, pendant. Why is that here? Aquarius couples. Aquarius couples. Messages, please. Messages, please. You got three of wands. Ooh, you got the three of wands and the four of wands. They see you as this is them assessing and reflecting on the bullshit that they did. They're like, damn, I fucked up. Damn, I shouldn't did that. Damn, that was some dumb shit. So you got the three and the four. That's seven. Seven and zero always mean looking at yourself, reflecting on the bullshit you did or the bullshit you called or the bullshit in your mind. <laughs> The three of wands is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. This is definitely planning cautiously with foresight, being happy and wanting to spread their wings towards you. I just seen 911. The four of wands is definitely um happy family, wedding, uh, reunion. Yeah, I said wedding. This is definitely wedding. Soulmate. Um, this is definitely like a twin flame, uh, soulmate energy. Oh my god, hold on one more time. Okay, Aquarius couples, let's keep going. Crystal pendant, crystal pendant, crystal pendant. Why is that here? Okay, someone wants justice. They offer maybe you, they might be offering you a ring or a crystal pendant or some type of jewelry. Also, I'm picking up different type of jewelry, not just crystal pendant. I'm picking up a ring. 
an uh, engagement ring, a ring, a necklace, a bracelet, some type of charm. I don't know. The justice card is here. This is a, they want to be fair. They want to offer you justice. This is a truth, cause and effect, integrity. They want to act with integrity as if you're always watching now. The two of swords is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. This is definitely giving me energy. They could have been caught between two decisions, torn between two relationships. And now they see, hey, you are the one. You are the one. I might name this. They had to pick Aquarius and they see you are the one. Let me write that down because I'll forget. They had to pick and they see you are the one. I'm bad with girl. I mean, sorry, y'all. I'm bad. With the, I'm bad. Okay, because I forget, I'll be in here, my daughter know, I'll be like, what I say? She will not remember, because she only last school, she ain't got time. Okay, messages, please. You got mop, sloppy mess, clean up. What is this, Aquarius? This mop, this sloppy mess, this something that needs to be cleaned up. Mop, mop. They want to clean up, I can just imagine. Yeah, this Knight of Wands is in and out your life. They played a lot of games. This Knight of Wands, you got the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords in reverse. I can't make this shit up. First of all, this person a big ass kid with all these knights. Whether it's a man or a woman, they real flighty and they got some mental issues. They like real in and out. Can't make up their mind. The Knight of Wands is um show off, jealous, uh, daredevil, um, uh, aggressive, arrogant, an asshole, reckless. They just come in and out. And then the Knight of Swords in reverse is definitely rude, danger, out of control, a know it all, criminal. This person could be on criminal activity. They got to clean up their fucking mess. The Eight of Pentacles is not one to commit. Lazy. Overspending money. Workaholic, some of y'all could be. Um, this is um, also uh, reputation, carelessness. And they could be involved in scandals, too. You got avocado. Butter up. 2-2 two, two on the clock, too. Yep, choices and decisions. Buttering you up. Consistency. Is this person going to be consistent? You know, they got butter up, smoothing. Is it just smoothing you over? Is it bullshit? It just, oh, I just asked five of, five of wands. Oh, five of swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. The five of swords is definitely um, talk ends conflict, trying to move on, trying to butter you up, seeing you as the world here. Yep, you got the world and the three of swords. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. The three of swords is betrayal, heartache, and grief they cause their best friend, their lover, their ride or die. The world is in the meaning of the world. You need a soulmate. This is some type of infidelity and imbalance they caused you. You have to decide if you want to let them uh, you see if they consistent, butter you up. Because right now I still seem they keep playing games. I just seen one one. Yep. And it's still a queen of wands around. Yep. So be careful with that. You know, um, they're trying to paint this picture that they're going to give you an equal give and take. Some of you got kids with this person. They might need a legal defender, but this is someone that they were sleeping with or dealing with or lying about. They want to come in and celebrate with you, but they still being manipulative. The Three of Cups is uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, seeing you as a celebration. Okay, and then the Empress, Emperor here is Virgo towards Capricorn. This is a good mother, good father. They want to celebrate with you, but this is them manipulating you. It's in reverse. The Magician in reverse is a manipulator. They're still broke. They're still on bullshit. The Four of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Seeing you as luxury, regret, and remorse because they dream about what they had with you. Causing you this emotional heartache and these lies and deception. Aquarius, bullshit. Mm. Let me get the cards also over here to see <clears throat> what else we got. <clears throat> Let's use this deck. Aquarius couples. Messages for Aquarius couples. Aquarius couples. Messages, please. Messages, please. Aquarius couples. <clears throat> Something they did could be affecting your holiday money around the holidays, finances, and career. Something that they did could have a setback for your holiday because now it's the holiday time. You'll be feeling like your finances are setback because of this person. Aquarius, please. Engagement, children, passion. You're very passionate about this person, and some of you have kids with this person, and this is why it's hard to end this connection. Children is here. Keep an open mind. That's why you keep an open mind. You wait on divine time to tell you what to do, because some of y'all have kids with this person. Your kids might love them. Your kids might love them. It might not even be their kids biologically, but that's what's going on. Messages, please. Aquarius, please. 
Aquarius, please. I'm gonna go to work tomorrow, y'all. I ain't gonna work for three days. Religious factors let your friends help you in being playful. I feel like this person played a lot of games and you became very religious. And I also feel like you let your friends help you. Some of you guys are on a religious path. Um, friends me and me, you know, different helpers in different ways because there was some type of deception here. And you learn to love yourself. And now you're in the mode you're forgiving and you're learning things. And there was a lot of chemistry, but you're also paying attention to the wood motherfucking red flags. Just because you're attracted to somebody, you're not going to let them play you. This is about freeing yourself. With two five two five because that could be some family issues this person's having, and this is uh, trying to get someone a chance because you feel like this is the one. And you feel like you've made efforts, but this person has a codependency here. And Spirit said that you might have to release this person, even if they are from your past, and you have romantic feelings. Okay, Spirit says stay optimistic because you can always get new love, and it'll be true love because you deserve love if you're in this. Right? Look at all that, and you will get a what, motherfucker soulmate. Yeah, so you calling in your soulmate and you will be able to express your love. Oh, that's a nice way to end the read Aquarius, okay? Anyway, so um, I'm Phoenix Rising, y'all. Y'all click like, subscribe, share me. Come back and see me. Um, I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the read. Click like, subscribe, share me, all that good shit. And I'll be back with more reads for you guys. I do all the Zodiac signs, so just look for that. I thank you guys. I'm sending you love and freaking light. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.